Hey guys! So this video is going to be my May favorites and my first favorite is not being in school. I haven't been in school for six weeks? Going on seven. Uh, yeah, my school board is on strike. Apparently we're supposed to go back in a few days, which totally sucks because I don't remember anything and I don't want to go back, so yeah. But other than that, I have been watching Netflix all month long. I love Netflix so much. I've watched so many shows. Not so many shows, but I've watched a lot of shows. So first thing that I watched, I rewatched The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I love that movie. It's so sad, but it just, I love it so much. It, just, uh, <laughs> it makes me so sad. I cried. Um, Supernatural. I finished that which was absolutely amazing. I'm so sad that I finished it though, but I love it so much. So it's okay. Uh, that was an amazing, that was an amazing show. Also Bates Motel I finished. I watched it in two days. The only thing I don't like about it is that there's like 10 episodes in each season, which kind of sucks. But yeah, so I watched that. If you do have any shows that I should watch, tell me because I can't find anything. I've watched, I want to watch something like 90210 and Gossip Girl again, but I've I've watched those, I've watched Breaking Bad, I've watched Orange is the New Black, Wentworth, I've watched all those shows, I've watched literally everything, I need a new show. So, on to the beauty favorites. I don't have a ton just because I've been lounging at home, the only time that I really put on makeup is when I was filming and when I was going out, which wasn't a whole ton, and when I was doing my community hours, which I got done, uh, yes got done in a week. That was 40 hours. It is done and over with. Thank goodness. So my first favorite is a lipstick that I wore. I want to say almost every time that I put on makeup, it is the CoverGirl lipstick. I think it's Lip Perfections in 360 Eoporia. Uh, Eoporia? I don't know how to say this. E-U-P. H-O-R-I-A. Um, all the products will be linked in the description box, by the way, or mentioned, written in the description box. Maybe I'll find links for all of them. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's just this really pretty, like, dark purpley color. Uh, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love it. It's more on the pinky side when you swatch it, but it is such a pretty color. I love this. I've worn it so incredibly much this past month. It's... Huh? You guys, it's so amazing. The next product is my Naked Palette because why not? I love this. I use it for my eyebrows mainly. I'm not too into using eyeshadow. I do like it, but I just I don't have any of the colors that I want, so I'm planning on buying some new palettes this month. I don't know. We'll see. But I use Buck and Naked for my eyebrows. Those two, they're just matte brown colors. I'm using Buck today, and I normally use Buck. This month I was using Buck more, but for the past few months I've been using Naked, which is just a light matte brown, whereas Buck is a dark matte brown. I don't think I ever show you guys this, but I apply it with this little angled brush by NYC. I love this. I haven't found another brush that I like more than this for my eyebrows. I haven't found a bigger size. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I'm like sweating. It is so hot in here. God. Oh, what's it like outside? Computer, tell me. It's 26 degrees. <laughs> to set my eyebrows, I use the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I need a new one of these. It looks absolutely... Di okay. Yeah, let's buy a new one. It's like almost empty and it looks super gross. Okay, so I'll buy a new one. But... I just use this to set my eyebrows. This is the only thing that I've ever used. I've never used anything else. I do really, really like this. I would love to try the... Actually, I tried the Anastasia Brow, Brow Gel, I think it's called. I loved it, but I just... I never bought it because it's like $28 and it's so small. And I just can't bring myself to buy it. So I buy this because it's like $6. And I do like it. It does work. Now, for eyeliner, I've been obsessed with wing eye winged eyeliner lately, um, and I've been using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. <sighs> what I do with this, I create the wing, and then I fill it in with my Maybelline Line Stiletto Mascara. They both stay on forever, 
and this one has a really precise tip and everything and this one just works better <laughs> this one I don't know why it's just once right when you use it okay so right when you use it it's like great right but then you use it for a little bit and then it's just it starts drying out and then you have to wait for it so I have to start upside down to get the ink to go down and I don't know I might take it back to see try another one I'm not sure but I do really like it Um, the Maybelline one's definitely more watery, as well as it's a little bit darker. Um, Maybelline Kat Von D. And I do really like them both, and when you put them together on your eye, you can't really tell a difference. Um, so I just, I use them both, and I do like them together. I think that it's a good pair, and I'm really glad that I had the Maybelline Lines Little because I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have it. I would literally die. Also, I rediscovered the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara this month. I have a ton of mascara and I was just trying to go through them this month and, you know, rediscover my favorites. I tried the Rocket and I really, really do love this. It is definitely one of my favorite mascaras. Um, that's what it looks like. The brush is really big. It reminds me of like Lash Blast by CoverGirl. I do really like it though. Like not the formula, like the brush. I haven't tried Lash Blast by CoverGirl, but I do really really like this. It's a good mascara. I think that it's definitely worth the money. I think that it's one of Maybelline's best mascaras. My next favorite is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Oh, I love this stuff. I've been so into contouring lately. I started watching Jaclyn Hill. Damn Jaclyn. She got me into contouring. <laughs> I love this bronzer. It is such a good bronzer. It's a good light color, which is good for me because I'm very fair contoured with it today. Um, so yeah, I really do like this, and I think that it's worth the money because I use it all the time, so yeah. Next product I have is a brush. It's not really a product, it's an item. It is by e.l.f. It is the small stipple brush. Um, this is from Target. My friend bought it for me. Well, I gave her money and she went and bought it for me because she had one and I was like, I want. So, that happened. Target isn't in Canada anymore, which sucks because that's where you could get e.l.f. I really do like this for applying foundation on my face. I tried applying foundation with a um, sponge today and it was just, ugh. I didn't like it at all, so I went back to this. But this definitely spreads out the product really, really well, and I love it. Not to mention, it's like $3, so yes. Okay, the next two products are both nail polishes, and they are both by OPI. I'm wearing one right now. I'm wearing this one, which is Here Today, Aragon Tomorrow. Reminds me of Harry Potter. I don't know, like Argon Alley. That's what it makes me think of. Um, it's just like a dark green color. It kind of looks like black on your nails, but you know when lights, when light hits them, you know sometimes they look green. It looks like a black with green undertones. It's a super pretty color. And then also this one, which I actually didn't film a video with this on, so which makes me sad. This is uh oh, roll down the window. And it's just like an army green color, and it's so pretty. I love it. They're both really opaque. Uh, the the army green, I only needed one coat, but I think I went with two coats just to make sure. With this one, I think I used three coats, but I could do well with another coat, so meh. It kind of sucks. This one's kind of sheer, but it's whatever. The next favorite is my Clean & Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It is actually helping my skin, which is great. My skin was really oily for the past not oily my skin was really dry for the past like six months i want to say and it's getting back to being oily a little bit not too much also youtubers favorite youtubers jacqueline hill uh duh i became obsessed with her this month i've watched like all of her videos um also nikki and gabby i love nikki and gabby so much i discovered them yesterday i want to say and i've already watched like back to like nine months ago worth of videos which is crazy um but I do really really like them and I don't know I just I love them I think that's all for my favorites this month actually so thank you guys for watching if you like the video 
remember to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe because that's really important. Uh, yeah, if you have any video requests, leave them in the description box. And I will, not in the description box, leave them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!